Would cheek implants give me a similar result to this? I am wondering if cheek implants would give me a similar result to this edited after picture. Thank you for your question. You've submitted two photos, one showing you uh, without the enhancement of an editing program where you want to see um, if you can achieve a result using a cheek implant. Well, certainly um, I, I think that your, your, your desired outcome is, is very well um, defined through, your, through the editing program that you used. And I can certainly share with you how I discuss this type of question with my patient and my practice. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. And as a surgeon, I have certainly performed a lot of facial implant procedures in my career and cheek implants being one of the most common. So I would share with you the evolution of my thinking with, for patients who, like yourself, have a certain desired outcome and making a decision on whether to choose the surgical route versus a non-surgical route. So to begin with, where you are showing desired improvement appears to be in an area of the cheekbone that is really right below the, the hollows of the under eye area. And it's an area that we typically refer to as the V deformity. So it's closer to the eye as well as below and adjacent to the eye. So that being said, the area that we're really looking at is an area that cheek implants really don't um, serve exactly. Now, of course, facial implants can always be customized to get a certain desired result. But I can tell you that in my practice of over 20 years, that there's been a great evolution in options for customizing a patient's appearance and to, in a way, decide very clearly what's optimal, an implant versus an injectable. There's been a re remarkable evolution of injectable fillers, particularly since the introduction of Restylane in 2005. So when we have these injectable fillers as an option, what gives those fillers an advantage versus an implant? Well, there's a couple of things. One is, is that for someone like yourself who's relatively young, who is looking to see if there's a really, if there's a way to kind of do what was done with the imaging program, I think it's more achievable with a filler than it is with an implant. And with a filler, like anything in the hyaluronic acid family, it's actually reversible. Basically, if someone doesn't like the results, of what's done with the hyaluronic acid, they can actually have that material dissolved with a, an enzyme called hyaluronidase. So that being said, that provides a little bit of a safety valve in case you don't like the outcome. Another part of injectable fillers, the newer fillers such as Juvederm Ultra Plus and Juvederm Voluma, is that the viscosity and thickness of these fillers really makes augmentation at the bone level really great. Uh, we do something called structural volumizing in our practice where we actually place the fillers at the bone level. Now this is something that most practitioners don't do. They typically do it more at the soft tissue level, which for a younger person may be somewhat equivalent, but in my experience I feel that when you place a material at the bone level, you really enhance and create a very nice natural contour. And so that being said, that makes this option of an injectable filler that's thicker and that's long lasting very attractive. And then the reversibility of it makes it further beneficial. And last but not least, 
the results of our structural volumizing procedures take less than 30 minutes and are done in an exam room as opposed to going into an operating room. Very often I'll tell patients who are interested in a cheek implant to first try the injectable filler to see if they like the look, do they like the outcome, the results. And then if they like that, if I feel that I can duplicate that look with a cheek implant, then that's the way to go. Uh, sometimes, sometimes they often find that the convenience of coming in, getting it done, going to work the same day or the next day, basically gives them the free time where they would have had to take a little bit more time for a surgical procedure. So again, the, there, there, is, there, are, there are pros and cons of both options, but I would probably advise someone younger like yourself to first try injectable fillers. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.